Okay, another very effective uh, treatment we can do with radio pressure waves is the treatment of spine pain, whether it be cervical, thoracic, or lumbar. For this example, we're gonna choose low back pain. Um, what is so beneficial here is when you get muscles that are spasming, hyperactive, this can really do the heavy unloading for you to either perform mobilizations or manipulations. And we're gonna see how we can address that right now. So coming back to our guided user interface on our device, we choose the quick link menu which takes us in to the top 10 clinical diagnoses. And sure enough, I have a low back pain option. Clicking my low back pain option, it's giving me my frequency, how many shocks, and again, even the correct transmitter to use. All I need to do is push start and I'm ready to go. And we're gonna take the same approach. Primary lesion site, preceded by vibratory actor and um, address trigger points. So we're just going to do a general screening to proceed with this low back pain. I would ask the patient to begin with, can you touch your toes? And I said, can you please touch your toes or let's see how far you can get. And he's having some tightness right there, flexion, and it hurts. Stand back up, hands on your hips, and just lean back a little bit. But, it, but extension seems to be a little less pervasive than flexion. So he's extension biased. Okay, that's just a clue that we're gonna tuck in our back pocket. While he has his hands on his hips, I'm gonna ask him to rotate for me. Pretty good going to the left, how about going to the right? Rotation seems pretty well. While you have your hands on your hips, drop them down and just do a side bend for me. Pretty good to the left, how about the right? Good, good, excellent. Side bending, right now, without doing invasive orthopedic testing, he seems to be stuck flexion. He's got some decreased motion, which would definitely correlate with his type of paraspinal muscles. To begin our treatment, again, we're gonna select our vibratory actor, especially in the spine. This is what's really gonna save your wrists and your elbows as a clinician, because this is gonna do the deep tissue release right away for you and provide a very relaxing uh, desensitization massage. So after we finish the vibratory actor, 1,000 to 1,500, we're going to use our deep impact to really get in there and create the, the desired effect we want of decreasing that muscle spasticity. We come back over to our user screen, we switch channels, we're identifying, we're on the deep impact. We go back to our protocol, low back pain, and we're ready to begin. We take our gel, again, just to lessen surface tension over the area, up over the, up over the primary area. We have our correct transmitter on there, and we're ready to go.